the six mantras that I really swear by is what I want to share with you. So the number one mantra is this. In my life, there is no blame, no excuses. There is no excuses. You know, I was actually, I met a, I met a guy uh, who was uh, a Kenyan who was working in, uh, uh, who was running a, uh, what do you call a, a mortgage company in the U.S. And uh, he, uh, he, he told us a story and he was saying, uh, I, I started running a mortgage company because I really want to be, wanted to be a part of the most important decision a person makes in his life of building his house or buying his first house. So I was really so passionate about it. I would talk to my customers and I would help them take a decision to buy the first house of their life. And I was really enjoying it. And he said, as we grew, I, of course, hired more people, hired more relationship managers, and they started talking to customers more than I was talking to customers. And then I, I stopped enjoying it. So he said, I gave up. I sold the mortgage company, made a lot of money. And then he said, I joined the Obama campaign. So he joined the first Obama campaign. And uh, he said, working with Obama was an amazing experience. And the one thing that I learned from that man is no excuses. He had all the odds going against him. He was a black American. He was Muslim. And uh, he had a Kenyan father. I mean, everything which was odd against him. But he said he has no excuses for losing. And so, so anything that goes wrong, my mantra is, how much am I responsible? Number two is extremely powerful. I'm, I'm so passionate about this. You cannot let anybody drive how you feel today. Your state of mind is your state of mind. You are the boss. So for me, that is very, very critical. There was a time when I went to see a customer and uh, it was a firing meeting. Okay. And at the end of the meeting, we lost that, we lost that customer. Okay. So I was sitting there at the table of the CEO and uh, we had a fired conversation. We'd not done our job well. Okay. So obviously you had to listen to, to the customer. And the customer had made up his mind that I won't, don't want you guys anymore. We're done with you. So I'm sitting there and he's firing away. And at the end of the meeting, he stands up and shakes my hand and said, I'm done with you. And more than me, he was trembling. You know? And I was calm because I'd accepted it's my problem. And I will not let him decide how I feel about this. I decide how I feel. And that has really worked for me. So, a few, few, few thoughts, okay? No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Yeah. Clearly, I mean, you are letting people make you feel what, how you feel. It's, I mean, and happiness is a choice. You decide. You decide. This is how I behave. This is what guides me all the time. Trust me all the time, 100% of the time. So if I decide to feel sad, I will feel sad about something. If I decide I'm sitting in the traffic and I decide that, oh my God, this is going to mess me up. What do I do? You, know, I mean, you, you can start hooting or you can put music on and enjoy the music. It's your choice. It's the choice you make, right? Nobody makes you angry. You decide to use the ang anger as a response. Yeah. Right? So it's human reflex. You give a fist, the guy will give you a fist back. If somebody hits you, and, and trust me, I love Mahatma Gandhi on this one. I don't know how many of you know his story, but Mahatma Gandhi said, if the enemy slaps you on one cheek, give him the other cheek. Not slap back. And I live by it, absolutely. And I swear by that. I tell you, it's just amazing how that works. It will slow your enemy down. Okay, my, my third very, very powerful mantra, guys. This is amazing. It just works for me. Tell me, what does this mean to you? 
reach to the skies okay vision i think you are the closest we are really talking about visualizing visualize your dream guys that's the only way you'll be able to achieve if you don't see it in your dreams if you don't visualize in detail you will not be able to achieve it there's a good chance you'll not be able to achieve it but if you visualize it there is a very 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 good chance you'll get it you'll achieve it so guys visualize and what we have done we've actually painted the picture of our company how it's going to look in the future visualize to the detail visualize that you've got this customer and he's signing the contract he's haggling you've quoted 100000 he's saying no i'll pay you 50000 then you say no 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 i'll give you uh, i'll give it to you at 70000 or 90000 he said okay i'll give it to you at 85 visualize visualize the entire conversation you're having with your customer guys and you will get it i'm telling you it's extremely powerful it works for me all the time guys all the time so when i went into that customer meeting i had set my mind that i'm going to lose this deal so i lost it the fourth mantra so if you received 86400 dollars every day in your bank account yeah and the bank will say look use this because the balance will become zero today and tomorrow morning i'll again give you 86400 dollars and tomorrow it will again finish and day after tomorrow again i'll give you 86400 dollars what will you do with it you'll spend it right and you'll spend it wisely you don't know where you're going to live tomorrow right so if you've got 86400 dollars today you want to spend it wisely right so what is this 86400 does anybody know the number of seconds in a day my god that's amazing manage your purpose to make every second of each day count yeah it's amazing how people would you know would make excuses there was a puncture there was traffic it was not traffic you didn't plan you didn't plan guys it's not the traffic we know nairobi always has traffic right and then you fret on the road and then your bp goes up and then people have people scream are ah, these guys are hooting this guy is coming here this guy is coming there but my friend did you start on time did you plan yourself so that is basic stuff guys i'm not i'm not even talking about rocket science here it's it's just basic stuff that that, that guides me and it works so my fifth mantra the key thing as an entrepreneur as a leader what you must always always exhibit is energy and enthusiasm about everything you know i have business cards uh which say ceo but the definition of ceo is chief energizing officer so that's i think that's my key function to energize people to be enthusiastic about everything and let me tell you enthusiasm is contagious you will spread enthusiasm your enthusiasm around you yeah and and if you if you're sitting in a corner uh with a hung face you i mean you will hardly attract attention but if you're enthusiastic you will attract attention i mean i'm 5 feet but i i do get get a little attention with my enthusiasm you know uh so nothing great was ever ever achieved right without enthusiasm nothing nothing if you start something and you don't have enthusiasm you will there's a very good chance you'll not achieve it the last but the most powerful for me as a mantra is gratitude it is something that bounces back with the same energy that you throw it it's it's like a ball and it comes back to you i think uh, a lot of us uh, as human beings again have the have this tendency of of whining you know 
uh, business is not good and today there was a lot of traffic and a lot of rain and and we forget that we still made it to work we still made it to lunch so we still had a, a square meal on our table this i mean it's it's very very philosophical but but this i i think as human beings we need to learn to be grateful for for what is what all the good things that are happening to us once you start appreciating and start being grateful for you stop whining about the negative things you know you focus on what you're grateful for all the good things that are happening to us i think there's a lot of good things that are happening to us every day you know because when you go and tell somebody business is horrible he's not going to come and give you a million dollars and say look here go and turn your business around yeah but you go and say that today i got a good deal you know it's helping me move towards towards my goal yeah maybe maybe one drop one drop at a time but i'm grateful that i got that that deal today so it's it it works in 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 every aspect of life in every sphere of life it works for me all the time and that has brought a lot of positive energy within me within my family and fortunately with with my team as well i think it's about gratitude so just a quick wrap wrap up uh, uh no excuses yeah you decide how you feel you control how you feel right visualize 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 your dream guys and it you will achieve it absolutely yeah energy and enthusiasm have energy and enthusiasm it works for me all the time absolutely all the time yeah respect your and others time i think it's critical we spoke a lot about time and it's it's amazing how all of us realize that time is of a sense time is so valuable and uh, and i i think we just take it for granted which is i think unfair and uh, be grateful thank you my coffee <clears throat> thank you for wonderful speech